Thanks for joining us for this late breaking local news. I'm Jamie Weiss live from the Fayetteville Square. I want to immediately show you what we're seeing here. This is the intersection of Mountain and Block in Fayetteville. The first thing you're going to notice is some police crime scene tape and a police car. I want to go ahead and bring in our reporter Kendall Ashman. Kendall, if you want to come join me, we were told that there was an officer uh, who was shot and killed tonight. Kendall, you were actually here tonight when all of this went on. Do you want to just tell us what happened? Yes, thanks, Jamie. Hey, guys, so I was on the square a little earlier today with some friends. We were just walking home when all of a sudden we heard some gunshots. Or not, sorry, we not heard gunshots. We heard, we just saw people running away from the square, northbound towards the square. We personally did not hear any gunshots, but people were saying that they heard gunshots. It was a very chaotic scene. Um, so this is where people say they heard the gunshots. And as you can see, this is the scene we did speak with Sergeant Murphy and you can take a listen to what he said. Well, at approximately 9.41 p.m., officers responded to the rear of the police department when they heard shots being fired. Once they got outside, they, they saw that an officer had been shot by a suspect. Um, they saw the suspect out in the rear of the police department, pursued that suspect, engaged that suspect, and uh, at this time, an officer uh, is down and the suspect is down also. Like Kendall, this was such an intense situation to be a part of. I, I know you called me just moments after this all happened. Can you describe, I mean, just what you were feeling in that moment? I think it was a lot of shock. I mean, at first, when you just see hundreds of people one, running in one direction, you don't really think that it could possibly be a gunshot. Or um, so I think that was the first thing I thought. And then instantly people are, you know, are picking up their dogs, picking up their children, running in, in one direction, like I mentioned. And me and my friends, we called an Uber and our thought was just get out of the get out of the situation as fast as we can. So a very sad and serious situation. Very sad and very serious. And we're just grateful that you're doing okay. As uh, Sergeant Murphy mentioned, uh, we do know that a police officer has been killed as well as a suspect. Uh, he says this has been very tough. Uh, let's take a lesson. It looks like all the roads immediately surrounding the police department are blocked off. I mean, you guys are here, so you can see the ones that are blocked off. Um, it's kind of chaotic right now, so we're trying to get all the information together. Um, in the coming hours, we'll have more information for you guys. Uh, we have uh, the FBI, Washington County Sheriff's Office, and uh, probably Arkansas State Police are going to help us with this investigation, as well as the Fayetteville Police Department. So um, we just ask that everyone out there uh, give us time to get all the information together and, and uh, just keep us in your thoughts. We're definitely going to be keeping the Fayetteville Police Department in our thoughts and prayers. At this time, we do not know the officer that was killed. Uh, we're still waiting to learn more details about uh, how this incident unfolded. Again, if you're just now joining us, we are here on the Fayetteville Square, where earlier this evening around 940, Fayetteville Police responded to a shots fired call just behind the police station. Actually, this is the intersection of Block and Mountain. You can see that there is police tape crossing off the intersection. There are so many police cars from so many different agencies, obviously Fayetteville Police, but we've seen Washington County, we've seen Arkansas State Police. The entire vicinity surrounding the police department is blocked off. We can't get any closer from the police department than where we are here right now. Of course, continue to stay with us on our uh, website. That's 4029tv.com as well as on our free 4029 news apps. We will update you as we learn more in this developing situation. And once again, I want to send our thoughts and prayers over to the Fayetteville Police Department. We're reporting live in Fayetteville. I'm Jamie Weiss with the help of Kendall Ashman, 4029 news.